Dominantly beating Cam uh, in, I think, winner's round three. I mean, he's, he's just been kind of cooking. Yeah, Fort Pop has been playing the game for such a long time, and it's been playing Diddy for like 15 years at this point. Yeah, yeah. Like that. bro is a living Diddy Kong. Yeah, right. And Beast, but also Beastly was having so many characters, I, I would be scared going into this as flip hop. I would too, especially because Beastly also plays Diddy Kong, right? That's one of his other like main equalization mark characters. Yeah, so the matchup is definitely going to be there for, for Beastly's part, so I'm. We're, we're kind of having to see if Flip Pop has what it takes to, to go against literally any of Beastly's counter picks. Yes. I think Salty's has an I haven't seen Flip Hop play anyone but Diddy in my entire life. So I don't. Definitely no surprise here. Yeah, the solo Diddy is definitely going to be a little confining going against someone like Beastly. But I think this might be the first time Beastly's gone Pokemon Trainer today. Yeah, I mean, I believe so as well. PT is another one of his great characters that he plays. Yeah, we'll see if not having played him, uh, at least not in, in tournament, is going to do anything. Sorry, I'm right behind you. Carry on. No, carry on. Uh, snare coming up. That's a flip-hop special. That, was that or is that really? He, he loves uppies like that. That could have been... I saw the uppie ledge trump earlier. I wonder if he'll bring that, that out against Beastly. Uh, or if he'll I, res I'm respect sure his he habits. Will. He loves that kind of uppie setup. His, his V-reverse movement is so good out of disadvantage. But just seeing here, I mean, Beastly just getting like that chip damage in on those on stray hits, and it's, it's working out for him a lot. That jab did not miss Ooh, that was a hard... No, that uppie might have just done it. Something I'm noticing that Beastly do is doing, aside from other Pokemon trainers, so many Pokemon trainers would switch over to Ivysaur, but I think Beastly recognizes that Squirtle is just better and neutral against Diddy Kong than any of the other ones. Yeah, and it makes sense, right? I think something that Ivysaur is really good at is just... Ooh, that Squirtle. was such a good... Was that a two-frame, or was that just hit above? I think he just hit him, like... What was that, with an actual? Yeah. I think just hit so good as It might have been. But I think back to what you are saying about Ivysaur, I think I'd be sort of trading Razor Leaf with a banana. I think that's just purely in Diddy's favor. Exactly. In terms of I think Squirtle definitely has the better matchup. And uh, I, I'm <laughs> I'm proud of Beastly for, for finally doing the things that Pokemon trainers around the world will. Oh, yeah. He's definitely a different PT for sure. I mean, those guys are like top five in the BFW. Yeah, so good. Such a crazy reason to. With banana in hand, too. Not going to get a. Not gonna get much out of that except getting Diddy back off stage. Now switching the, the Charizard. Yep, I can understand the Charizard switch being a, a like a Diddy back air killing at 114 would be really unfortunate. Beastly kind of obsessed with grabbing this banana here. I don't know what's up with that, but that up throw just barely misses out on that KO. Oh, good tech, but that hit the ledge. He's got his number now. Going for the back throw. I, that had to have been a misinput. Like he was trying to buffer a back air after the down throw or something? Yeah, maybe. But, oh, that was a misinput. I could definitely say that. Oh my gosh, ready? That happened. Flip hop, getting the, <laughs> securing the kill at like 170, but this, this is still. Uh, Especially if Beastly six Charizard, this is definitely not unwinnable. Yeah, I was about to say. Great frame trap. Covers the uh, switch with the jab. Yeah, that was that was really good from Flip Hop, trying to capitalize on, on the switch that he knew he needed. And basically, Squirtle combos are so consistent right now. Yeah, even if it's just like one or two hits, just getting the positioning is really good for this matchup. Right, and Squirtle's so good at like shopping positioning is better than against uh, the guys. Like... Going for Ivysaur. This is the first time we we're gonna see Ivysaur this this game. And missing, missing out on that up air. Yeah, I feel like we won't see any, much more of that. <laughs> much more of that Ivy Sword. That was, that was a, such a good banana catch. Only Diddy Mains would know that. Exactly. Yeah. And have I mean, you even seen Banana play like, doing so well for Beast as well? It's been 
making sure to hold on to banana and getting a lot of pressure that you do. Yeah, he, he really puts a lot of... Uh, I feel like a lot of his matchup experience is just grabbing the banana from Diddy Kong using it against him. Because like you said, having that Diddy matchup or that Diddy knowledge through playing it himself, right. it's going to come into play so much here. It's almost like he's playing, trying to play against a snake right now. Yeah. Sticking, sticking with Diddy Kong, yeah. No, not really a man of secondaries. No, I mean, his, Diddy has done wonders <laughs> for three games in a row, you know. It's uh, definitely. Running it back on PS3, I don't think it's a Sage problem at all. I, know, honestly. I think Beastly is just outplaying him in every way. That's really just what it comes down to. Yeah. I'm all, I also don't rec like I don't really know what stages would be better for Diddy in a in a matchup like this. I think the stages that Diddy's good on, I think are just as good for Squirtle. Yeah, like you don't want to give Pokemon Trainer Town and City, and you don't want to give Pokemon Trainer Talos because of the, how good it is for recovering. Oh, he's so good with Banana. I think that's gonna like. The biggest thing in the matchup that I've seen so far, and that Nair just hits everything. This is so good at this season, man, for the, Like, look at the way he just He, he always, he just goes straight for, he's, it's like he's not even playing against Flip Pop. He's just playing for the banana. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's a really good game plan for a lot of characters. If you have, like, good enough buttons for it, just holding banana and using it for your own if you know it, I think it's just such a great game. Exactly. Uh, honestly, against any character with like a holdable projectile, like yeah, Link like Bomb or Gyro, yeah. Grenade, it's, it's, it's like there's nothing that they can really do against it. That should be it. Oh. Oh my oh. gosh. Flip Hop pegging the first dog. The Flare Blitz coming out. That was fun. For <laughs> <laughs> close range. That hit. Oh my god. That yeah, I mean, so I'm sure that would have hit jump too. Yeah, I mean that that S smash is crazy. And it's also really hard to punish because of how far it's sent back. Yeah, right. This oh my god, he chained it together. That, those it's are so those are such good strings. He was going for a clip. Yeah. <laughs> this is looking so good right now. Beastly making Pokemon trainer look godlike. Yeah, right? I mean, this character has been consistently top tier for a reason. All yeah, I mean, basically showing everyone that th this character is definitely not washed. Oh, absolutely. Just because of DLC and that oh, smash out of shield. Yeah, he, he said you taking that first stock was a fluke, bro. Yeah, and I think PC is good against some of these like DLC characters. Like, I think PC is pretty solid against Steve. I think pretty okay against Kazuya. You know. It's just the work you got to put into him. It's like three times more than every other. Yeah, exactly. Character. You don't cheat as much as everyone else, which is a high bar. If not nine times more, you know, because you got to learn every matchup with every character. Oh, did he catch jump? Yeah, just having that one jump, but Charizard be able to make it back. Really big down smash. F smash, F smash when he kill anyway. Oh, good grab. Oh, Charizard. He's just getting wobbled in Charizard right now. Yeah, but there's, there's no, really no other choice, because if he got hit once a Squirtle, he'd be dead. So he just kind of has to stick it out. But yeah. If, if Flip-Hop can, can secure this. Oh, going for the ledge strike. Oh, oh no. Oh. It's going to happen. Oh, man. Grab, going to whiff again. Oh, my That's gosh. A... I've never seen a, down, a Charizard down air in neutral. <laughs> it's broken. Oh, that's it. He's dead. Oh, oh he tackled all the way. That's so crazy. Yeah. I, oh, I, I'm surprised. I think this is too much extra, extra chip for Flip Pop to be able to make it back. He definitely needed to body that charge on more. Yep, and then up there is going to be enough to take the save. I'm very excited to see Beastly in top 8, though. Oh, yeah, I, I think Beastly is such a treat to watch sometimes. You know? He'll be putting in a ton of work, I bet.